next guest, 18-year-old Samantha, was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in April 2008. Osteosarcoma is a type of bone cancer that is very aggressive. And Samantha actually was planning to travel to New York to be here with us right here on the Tyra Show, but she got really sick. So uh, we're video chatting with her instead. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Tyra. So your life has changed. I know you, in 2008, in March, you... Uh, you had some very intense chemo. Tell me what happened, because with, with chemotherapy, it, it makes you nauseous and it makes you throw up, because that's, that's part of chemo is throwing up. So what happened that, that time when you rolled over really fast to throw up? Um, when I got diagnosed with the cancer, it turned out that it was in my femur bone. Um, when I went and rolled over to throw up, I snapped the femur in half and I broke it. So at that time, they had to uh, take my leg and I'm amputated all the way up from my left leg up to my hip. Up to your hip, it's amputated. And um, yeah. do you have a, a prosthetic leg? Um, yeah, I have a prosthesis. It's basically a bucket seat. You sit in it, they try to help you walk, but at the moment it's scrap metal, it doesn't work, it's uncomfortable, it's, it's fiberglass, you know. They basically just put it together just to give you a little bit of mobility, but it's $52,000. It's it's just a huge amount of change, and at the moment, we just don't have money like that just sitting around. That's so, uh, a lot of money. So, in the process of getting in, hopefully, when we get the money or whenever, you know, we can do things to try and figure it out, then yeah. hopefully I can get in and start walking do things that I want to do, like get back into sports and, you know, um, it's not fun being in a wheelchair and being on crutches all the time. Yeah, I can imagine. And that's very expensive, 50, 50 something thousand dollars for that leg. Tell me about you're in the process of graduating high school. Yeah, I am. And um, tell I, me about your big dream. I, um, I want to finish high school. I had to take time off um, just because of everything that was going on. I want to graduate and I want to go and travel and do things. Um, just at this moment, I can't do it. It's okay. We're in New York and we're here with you. I know it's very hard. You said that you want to tra take trips with your family when you're feeling better. Um, at this moment, we can't really do anything as a family. Um, my dad's always working, so you know, someone has to work. My mom had to quit her job and had to um, stay and take care of me because it's a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just really upsetting because my brother has to work now and do things. And mom, you know, she's always there. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to do things and go out and spend time with them because at this room. moment it's between going to the hospital or you know, being sick all the time is just not fair to all of us. Your mom's there with you. I like that you're thinking about your family, but but they love you and they're there for you, and that's what family's for. Um, Kathy, um, yeah. I know you, when you, you, you thought your daughter was in denial when she was diagnosed because she kept such a happy and up demeanor. Yeah, when, when she got diagnosed with cancer, we're sitting in a small room and saw her x-rays and stuff, and the doctor said, you know, this doesn't look good, told us what she had, and Samantha just looked at the doctor, and she had this one single tear run down her face, and she looked at him and said, okay, so how do we fix it? What do we do about it? I, I think her positive attitude is great. She's a, she's a positive force for other people with cancer, and we wanted to um, honor you today, Samantha. And you didn't have to come all the way to New York City to do it. We're still going <laughs> to honor you. We're going to make some of these dreams come true. Um, we know that you're in a lot of pain, and it's hard for you to get around since you lost your leg. And I know that prosthetic is expensive. So Autobloc yeah. Healthcare is giving you a state-of-the-art prosthetic leg. It actually mimics the movement. <laughs> yes. Now, Samantha, this leg is amazing. It actually mimics the movement of the human pelvis, and it has the most advanced technology in the entire world. So no more buckets. And um, 
I know we didn't get to this, but I know that you used to have really long blonde hair and you've been wearing synthetic wigs. The synthetic wigs are kind of itchy, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, yeah I know about a synthetic wig girl. They don't feel good. I know. So, um, and your scalp is very sensitive. So, um, Continental Hair is providing Samantha with a custom handmade wig from 100% virgin European hair. Real hair. Oh, I got to tell you, I like your hair now, too, though. Um, one of Samantha's biggest goals in life is to go to college, like you just said. So, Kwantlen Polytechnic University is giving you a full four-year scholarship and one thousand dollars for bonus <laughs> supplies. <laughs> and last, I know Samantha and her family have never been on vacation together. You say that you want to be with your family. So, Aero Mexico is giving you a beautiful Puerto Vallarta vacation for five days and four nights at the luxurious Casa Mania Marriott Resort. <laughs> now, this trip is for when your doctors clear you to fly. Thank you. You're oh. welcome. You are so welcome. You are such a strong, beautiful young lady. You are such a strong, beautiful, isn't she, you guys? The audience is all teenagers. <laughs> So they're all your age. You guys want to give her some love? You know, on count of three, we love you, Samantha. One, two, three. We love you, Samantha. Thank you all very, very much. We'll be right back.